Hello everyone, I'm going to show you something very important today. So let's say you have an addiction to bass. And so if you have an addiction to bass, you're going to want to listen to your favorite songs, Bass Boosted. Now you could just look up your favorite song, Bass Boosted. However, why would you do that when you can bass boost your own songs? See, not every bass boost is the same, and you can create a bass, bo bass boost unique to your own tastes. So I'm going to show you how the basics of how to bass boost so you can create your own unique bass boost for your favorite song so you can have the perfect bass boost. Now, the first thing you want to do is you're going to have your song. I have uh, Figure and Brawler's uh, track Goosebumps. That's probably one of my favorites of theirs. Um, and then you're going to open up the info on it and you're going to take the EQ and you have your EQ right here and I have the analyzer on so I can see what I have and then you can play your track as you see right there there was the um, there was the this is the base area right here down here from the 20 to 100 it is considered to be the base area now you take that oh, that's what I call a and you can see that there's bass there so I'm going to go to the part where the, there's the bass drop because this is obviously dubstep and drumstep and all that. So go to the drop. And you see every nice bass right there. Now I can bass boost this whole thing right here. But I've learned that if you try to bass boost this whole area right here, you're going to literally blow the speakers. And it's going to sound terrible. See, it doesn't sound that good. The key to having a good bass boost is you should have it boosted, but not too much. If you have it boosted too much, you'll blow this, um, it'll clip, and then it won't sound too good. The bass will just sound kind of nasty. So I have the bass boosted just a smidge right there. Now, I also get rid of um, lower areas, because you can't even hear the lower areas. And it also makes it kind of, um, it makes it all kind of blend together and not as, like, clear. It's not a clear bass boost. So I have that added, that bass boost right there. So without that, I have... So there's the bass boost right there. Now I can add other things to give it a more bass boosting sound. So I can go to plugins and I can uh, specialized uh, sub bass. Sub bass is really useful on GarageBand for giving it that really good. Um, you could just do the regular bass boost right there. So I do the Southern Hanser. So I have it a more intense bass now with the Southern Hanser. So I have the Southern Hanser and that makes it quite louder. And you can't quite hear all this bass in this because I'm recording it um, out for the speakers. And But it's better with like really good headphones and stuff like that. Um, I'll have a link to the finished bass boost version so you can hear it with your super quality headphones and all. But I have this and I have the bass boost and I probably want to take that. And see there's that kick right there. <clears throat> I'm going to want to take that kick and I'm probably going to want to boost that kick up right there. So now I have that kick high kick. And then I'll take this area and down put that area right there a bit because it's giving me a blurry kick. So I'll make that thinner. 
So. So I have that now, and then I might want to have a compressor on there to give it that kick, because compressors are really great for giving the kicks um, a really strong kick to it. That kind of like uh, kick, it goes boom, and you know, like it's not even distorted, it's just you know it's there. So I can mess around with these kicks here. That's much stronger of a kick. So we have a much stronger of a kick right there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put a limiter on it. So because it's C, it's it's clipping right now, and when I export it, it's gonna get quieter, so I'll put a limiter on it so it doesn't clip anymore. So, limiter. Turn the gain down a bit. Uh, not gonna be a bit too much. Uh, put the output level down to like one. It doesn't seem as loud now, but there's also a lot more kick that you can't hear in it. And then... So now I've created this uh, version, the bass boosted version, with way more kick in it. The kick on it is much more extreme. So now that I have that, I export the song, and I can say I'm going to name it a figure and brawler uh, goosebumps uh, bass boosted. There we go. And then export it. And it's done. You have your own bass boosted version. And you can mess around with different kinds of um, EQ ranges. And because not all kicks are the same EQ range. And you can have your like sub bass to give it that kind of pressure in that really deep sub region. And then you could do all that. And you have your own bass boosted version. Not anyone else's, your own. So there we go. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any critiques about my tutorials or anything else, just ask. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe.